The connection dialer allows providers to log in from their desktop or mobile device and connect to MB Telehealth equipment. When using an Apple device, you must use Safari as your browser. This is not intended to connect to patients on their own devices. These events still need to be booked in iScheduler. Always connect from an appropriate and confidential location. Log in to the Virtual Visit Provider portal using your network username and password. Connections consists of four tabs, Site to Site, Multi-Site, Out of Province, and Recent Connections. The Site to Site tab allows you to connect to one other site. You can search here or enter the five-digit code in the Dial String field for the site you want to connect to and click Launch Connection. You can mark a site as a favorite and then use the My Favorites filter. The Multi-Site tab is used to connect to a multi-site event. Enter the dial string found on the whiteboard and click Launch Connection. If the call is for an out-of-province or out-of-network event, enter the dial string that has been provided to you and the PIN if required. This tab shows all your recent connections, so if you haven't marked a site as a favorite but you've previously called this site, you can search using the search field or these filters. And then connect right from here. We'll connect from here since we're already on this tab. Once connected, you'll see the site full screen and they'll see you on their end. Unless it's a multi-site call, then you'll see multiple sites on the screen. One thing to note, if you connect to a site and their telehealth equipment is offline, you'll hear a message that says you're the only participant in this conference, and the system will automatically disconnect your call in a few minutes. If this happens, you can just close your browser, as you won't have this disconnect button. Contact the service desk to let them know that the other site's equipment is offline. Let's go over the toolbar items at the bottom. Move your mouse if you need your toolbar to reappear. Mute your incoming audio. Turn your camera on and off. Turn your microphone on and off. Disconnect the call. Share my screen. And remember to make sure you don't have anything confidential on your screen when you're sharing with others. Present files. And when you're done with those options, you can just press stop sharing. Float video window. And please do not use this Add Participant icon. This arrow hides and shows the side panel. There's a few things on here you may need to use. To access far end camera controls, click on the participant and click Camera Control. Click on the X to close the camera controls when you're done. If you're a provider who delivers back-to-back -back sessions, you'll also need to use this disconnect to ensure the other site is disconnected from you before you make your next call. You'll then end your call as usual by clicking Disconnect in the toolbar, which you'll see later. Up in the top right, you can blur your background by clicking here. Click on your Self View box to hide it, and then click Show Self View if you want to bring it back. Always disconnect at the end of every call. Click Disconnect and click Disconnect here. Then click the X to close this tab, which takes you back to the portal. When you're done, log out in the top right corner. Visit our website for more videos and quick reference guides on all of our services.